morning, Forest Park. I'm Don Jones. I'm the city manager here at Forest Park. And we decided to shoot outside today. We're here at the Senior Center on Winton Road. And the reason we're here today is we want to talk about tax season. We've moved our tax office from our municipal building, which is right up the hill from here, down to the Senior Center. We've done that in order to spread ourselves out so that we can engage the public in a safe and manageable area where people can spread out and be safe, keep our people safe, and keep our employees safe. So I want to take you today, show you how things are going to change a little bit as we, as we process taxes this year. But if you haven't filed your taxes yet, they're due July 15th. We've opened the Senior Center. It's a month early. They're seeing people by appointment only the first week. Next week, uh, the 22nd of June, we will be seeing people um, on a, on a first-come, first-served basis. And you can still make appointments as well. So, again, file your taxes. If you don't need to see us, please take care of that online. File them through the mail. You can use our drop boxes. If you need to see a tax associate, you, ne you absolutely need help with your taxes. We're here to help. This is where we're going to do it this year. Come to the Senior Center here on Winton Road, and we'll be glad to help you. We want to show you how we're going to work that this year and try and keep you safe, just so you're not so surprised when you get here. We're at the entrance to the Senior Center. The first thing we're going to have to do is put our masks on. Everyone that enters this building to get your taxes done will be required to wear a mask. We have masks available for those who do not have their own. Please bring your own if you can. We have them available, but everyone who comes in will be required to wear a mask. So let's get started. Okay, we've just come through the front door. We've put on our masks. Again, if you don't have masks, we have them available for you. Everyone in the build, entering the building will be required to wear a mask. We also, you'll see the X's on the floor. That's where you'll be required to stand. That, that creates a social distancing, again, to keep everyone safe. If you're here just to make a payment or to, or to uh, process a tax return to get your taxes done, this is the place where you'll be checking in. There'll be a City of Forest Park employee here who will sign you in. If you're here to get your taxes done, they'll move you on to the next tax workstation, which will be the scanning station. If you're here just to make a payment, they'll process you through this door and you can go directly to the payment line. You won't have to wait in line with all the people who are here to get their taxes done. So if you think the line's a little long and you're just here to make a payment, you can go right in into the payment window and make a payment right away. Let's move into the next, let's assume that you're here to see the um, a tax associate and get your taxes done. Let's move into the next station. Okay, here we are in the scanning area, the check-in area. This is where you're going to be, the first contact that you're going to have with a Forest Park tax person is right here. Now, we've got Matt here with us today, who is our tax, uh, in charge of the tax department here at the city of Forest Park. And uh, he's going to let you know kind of what is going on behind the scenes and what they're going to do to try and move you through here as quick as possible and get your taxes done and get you moved out with the least amount of contact and the least amount of uh, uh, problems that you can have right here. So Matt, tell us a little bit about how this station works and our, we're basically trying to scan our documents and eliminate paper and then move people to the next step. So Matt, tell us a little bit about the process from here out. All right, so after you have checked in in the main lobby of the Senior Center, then you will come into the room to the right, and this is where we will scan in all of your information, including your Federal 1040 and all of your W-2s and 1099s. So when we come here, we're going to scan those forms in so that whenever you go to see the tax associate at the next step, it's more of a contactless experience for both the resident and the tax associate. So you'll be standing on the blue X's that are marked, and then as you're called to a scanning station, you'll be asked for your 1040s, W-2s, and then those will be scanned in here. Then after those have been put into the system and associated with your account, then you'll be directed out into the 
main area of the senior center where you will um, find a seat and then you will wait for someone to uh, take you to an available associate. The list of documents that you will need when you come to the senior center for your tax preparation for the city of Forest Park. You'll need your federal 1040 and you will need all of your W-2s and 1099s that equal the amount that is listed on your 1040 form. Okay, so we've heard from Matt. We're going to scan in your documents here. Make the first initial contacts. Make sure you have everything you need. Then you're going to move from here into the main area of the senior center. So let's go on in and show you what we do when we get in here. So here we are in the main lobby of the, um, or the main area of the, of the senior center. As you can see, we've got different places where people can sit. The reason we have them spaced out so much is we want to maintain social distancing. Matt, tell us a little bit about once you get, now we've left the station in there where the documents were scanned, we've come into the waiting room. Tell us what the next process is in, the, in, the, in getting your taxes done here at Forest Park. All right, so after you had your documents scanned in um, in the uh, scanning room, you'll be asked to come out into the main area of the senior center. And this is where we have our waiting area set up. And once you are here, then we'll have an employee who is assigning you to a tax associate. So you would just come here and you wait until your name is called and then you will be seeing an associate to have your Forest Park tax return done. Let's go into station three and we'll show you what it looks like when you're getting your taxes done. Thank you, Maria. This is Maria, one of our tax associates. This is what you'll see when you come in. You'll be called up to a desk. We have four desks available to get your taxes done. As you can see, we have plexiglass completely um, separating the taxpayer from the tax associate. The idea is to make sure that the tax associates protected and the people here are protected as well. This is for everyone's protection. We're able to do all of your tax returns just like we did last year as if we were sitting up at the city hall building, but we've moved the entire operation right here and the people. So this is where you'll get your taxes done. If you need to make a payment with a credit card, you can do it right here. So they will have all of your information that was scanned in at the scan station. It will show up here at the tax associate's computer and they'll be able to do your taxes and answer your questions uh, while you wait. From here, once the taxes are done, we'll be moving out of the building and we'll show you what the next step is right now. Thank you, Maria. Okay, you would have just completed your taxes and we're coming out and now where do we go from here? What do you have? What did you get when you left your tax associate? Matt, tell us a little bit about the process from the time you get your taxes done until the time you're ready to leave. So after you have seen the tax associate, um, you should have two copies of your Forest Park tax return and two copies of your credit card receipt if you've made payment with a credit card. Now, after you leave here, you'll go to the left and we have a roped off section um, that you would go through and you would eventually get to our payment area. Um, and this area is where you would sign your Forest Park tax return and or your credit card uh, payment receipt. Um, and also if you need to make payment via cash or check, this is where you would do that. Okay, we've just left the tax associate's office. We've walked over to here the tax associates provided us our two copies of our Forest Park tax returns, one of which will be signed and left here. If you made a payment with your credit card, as Matt said, you'll also have a credit card receipt. You'll sign that and leave that here as well. You'll have one copy to take with you of your Forest Park tax return and or your credit card receipt. If you need to make a payment with a check or cash, this is where you'll make those payments as well. As you can see, again, we have plexiglass. There'll be a tax associate here to help you and get, make sure that you've got all the information that you need to take with you and have the ability to make payments. And basically, you're done. We, then you would move through this door here and exit the rear door of the um, senior center. 
not going back into the front. So we're trying to maintain the social distancing. We're entering the front door and leaving the side door here uh, when we're finished with the process. So here we are outside at the, uh, at the senior center. We've just left the payment window. We've come out the side door. Here we are and we're getting ready to go home. I hope this provided enough information, a brief glimpse as to what you would expect if you come here this year. It's completely different than last year. Don't be afraid, don't let it be intimidating. Come in, get your taxes done. We have a lot of people here to help you. It will not take as much time as it did last year, but we think we can move through here pretty quickly. We're gonna maintain our social distancing and we're gonna maintain our masks and we're going to make sure that everyone's safe and secure while they're here. Come get your taxes done. For more information, go to our website. You can file online. You can also have your taxes prepared and drop to the drop box and avoid the whole process. If you really need us and you need us to do your taxes and you need some help, we're here to help. This is where it's done.